So we're setting up a scanner and that that typing in the word scanner sets it up. And then the next thing we type in is basically scanner name. It's, it's whatever it is. You can call it username. It's just like the name of a variable. Username, user choice, whatever you want it to be called so you can remember what the variable is, okay? Once you have that in there, then you just set it equal to equals new. Sorry, I can never memorize this code. Um, new scanner system in. So new uh, scanner system dot in just like that. Okay. And what that's doing is it's allowing a new, we're setting up a new scanner and allowing the system to input data. So let's run it, see where we're at so far. Good, no errors so far. And now it's like, oh, I didn't do anything, right? But actually, if you notice, we can now actually type in here. And that's, that's as far as we've gone. We didn't print these out, so it's running so far so good. Okay, the next thing we want to do is shown on this line. Okay, this line, we're setting up a string variable, right? Just like we did over here, string word one, hello. Here we're setting up a new variable, string user response equals user answer dot next. Okay, so it's gonna go right down here to the next line. So string, we're setting up a string variable. It's kind of like back in Python. In Python, it would look like this where we would do uh, variable name equals input, um, what is your name, right? We're using, this is basically just like a scanner and it's storing whatever the user puts in into this variable in Python. In Java, we're taking whatever to type, whatever they type in and we're saving it into the variable called user response. I'm gonna get rid of that Python before throws an error. Okay, so string, and then you can do uh, user answer equals, and then we're setting it equal to our scanner, okay? User choice um, dot next, okay? And that dot next just allows the next, it just allows it to actually be brought in, okay? And then if we did print, oh, sorry, Python, system dot out print line, uh, user answer, we should then have an opportunity to type something in and then it should print it off. Okay, so one more time from the top. This is allowing us to set up a new scanner called user choice. This is just the name of the scanner. It's a new scanner. This is just basically the code that's allowing us to, to input it in. This line of code is allowing us to take whatever they type in and storing it into a variable so that we can use it later on. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's that's basically it. Let's do it one more time just for good practice. Um, I'm going to set up a new scanner. Um, let's just call it yes, no. So again, the yes, no is just the name of the variable. Scanner is what we need to type in. We're, we're telling our program what type of variable. I mean, we could change this to string right now, and this would just be a, a string variable, okay? But we're setting up a scanner, okay? Let me do this. This is always the same. This doesn't change. So you can always copy and paste that, okay? Um, and then we just type in if it's gonna be a, a string. So now we're gonna store this yes, no answer. Um, uh, let's do user yes, no. Don't forget that camel case. Remember the lower first one's always lowercase. Any other word after that is uppercase. So then equals, and we're setting it equal to yes, no. Uh, yes, no dot next. And that dot next is always the same. This doesn't change. The only thing that change is the variable name in what you're using, okay? Then we want to do system dot out print line user 
user yes no okay and before um before you ask the back to basics of program writing you always want to let your user know what you're doing so you can do a system dot out print line uh, do you like green eggs and ham i guess there's a new netflix show out right now that's about that old dr seuss story let's see if it works so it's allowing me to type in because that's why you want instructions because right now it's like if I didn't know what was going on, I'd be like, the program's not working. It's not letting me see anything, but it is letting me see something. Do you like green eggs and ham? No. And then just printed off my answer. Okay. So hopefully that helps um, give you just a really basic introduction into scanners and how they work. Again, this is just telling the program we're setting up a new scanner. This is the name of the scanner. This code is simply the code we need to set up a scanner. Um, this next line is storing the scanner's input into a new variable called string. We can do the same thing with an integer if we needed to. Works out the exact same way. Also, we need to have this code in there to allow, if this code wasn't in here, let me just show you what happens. It's like, what, what's the scanner thing? Um, cannot find symbol. It thinks I'm talking about a variable, okay? Scanner is a tool that has to be in there in order for the scanner to work. If that if that's not in there, it's bringing in the, the scanner tool from somewhere else and putting it into our program. But that's all. Um, make sure to turn into Canvas, and thanks for watching.